All right, I found something really cool in NeoVim. So you know how the color column, the one that you see here, the line, is defined, for example, on line 80, and we can just change the color of it. I mean, sure, we can add one more, for example, on uh, line 85. Let's go back to lazy.lua, for example. We can see we have two now, one on line 80 and one on line 85. And we can even define a range if we wanted to, for example, from the 100th column until the 999th. We also want to paint crazy the Lua. Yeah, we also want to paint that whole range. But that's pretty much all we can do. We can really change the width of it. And having a blurred background like mine, I can't even get the color right. But I found a better solution. So I'm going to delete these. I'm going to go to ui.lua. And I'm going to enable this plugin. And let me zoom in. The Lucas Reinicke slash virt, uh, virtual column or vert dash column .nvim. So what this allows us to do is um, define virtual columns uh, using special characters on any of the columns that we want. And also we can change the highlight on the individual columns. So I'm going to show you how this looks like ui.lua. There we go. We have a, a lot more subtle column now. It's not the standard uh, character with gray line. It's actually a, a bit more subtle. But we don't even need to stop here. We can define a new one uh, on the 19th column, for example. We can define a special highlight, but let's also pick out the character. So. I got my nerd font collection right here. And if I scroll down, I can, for example, pick this vertical line right here. And I can pick like a yellow highlight. And if you want to see all the highlights, the, the one that are defined, uh, you can execute the highlight command, hit enter, and you'll see a list of them. So let's use the question one it's like yellowish or for example the warning message yeah let's let's use the warning message reload go back to ui.lua and there we go we have another line another column right here that uses the uh, warning message highlight and it's using the solid line character and let's do something crazier for example let's pick something wild yeah you like pizzas you're going to get them in your IDE. And let's define that in the, I don't know, 100th column. And instead of the warning message, let's use the error message now. So go back to ui.lua and check it out. We have a column of red pizzas. And if we pass that column, yeah, we're going to know it. So yeah, this is a really cool... Um, way to change the width and the character and define your own virtual columns. I'm going to drop a link in the description to uh, this plugin. And I'm also going to drop a link to my dot files if you want to see how my NeoVim is set up. So I hope you like this. Thanks for watching.